Hi there, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel, a little bit about everything. Um, I went to the hardware store the other day and I bought some half inch dowels. I ended up paying, and they were uh, maple uh, dowels for woodworking. And I ended up paying, I think it's a little over eight dollars for four foot each. So I thought to myself, well, I've got to make, I don't know if the prices went down, but that's what I paid the last time. And I thought to myself, I can make these things, right? So I thought to myself, what about a pencil sharpener? Why don't I make a pencil sharpener, right? Take the square piece, bring it down to the round. Well, this is what I come up with. Um, some three pieces. Okay. And what I did was, first of all, I wanted to mimic the angle of the pencil sharpener. So I went at 3.5 degrees on a slope. And I went through with the 9 sixteenths. Because there's no way you're gonna hit, if you don't hit it bang on the first time when you're sharpening that thing, there's no way you're gonna squeeze the other end of that rod through there. It's not gonna happen. So I did it. I, I made it 9 sixteenths all the way through. Okay? And the center width of this block is the width of my chisel. It's uh, one and a quarter, I think. I'm not sure. But I'll show you that later. And uh, I screwed these two blocks together. And on this side, okay, my chisel goes here on top. But from this side in, there's three different sizes. I have 11 sixteenths on the outer edge, which is almost the size of my square blank. And then it tapered down to 5 eighths. And then I, I hit my 9 sixteenths in there. And to get rid of the, the, or to blend these dimensions together, I took a, uh, a conical bit. on it and I blended these together. I just wanted to make that to be three quarters of an inch. Oh yeah, no sorry. I made this three quarters of an inch. And I went in and blended it in and then uh, and then what you have to do is you take your table saw and then you just want to you see how this conic feature here, okay? My 9 16 is over here, okay? You just want to bring it back enough to start seeing, tapping into that 9 16 area. And what I did was take a, 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 a Bernie caliper from the back side and measure it until I could, till the end of my uh, 9 16 and that's where I set my blade to. So when I took off this portion, I was left with another piece here hanging over and everything else. And there was just one saw blade cut. So what I did was take my router and bring every time, everything down to the same level. Okay? And uh, then all you have to do is clamp your chisel here. And that's it. So, I've already done all the work. I'm gonna bring you over there and let you see what I've done. And I'm gonna give you a demonstration. And it seems to work. So this is the jig. I haven't made it pretty yet, but this sort of gives it more leverage, right? If I were to cut it here all the way through, I would be missing out on that leverage. I should have made these pieces longer, but this works. So what I've done, like I said, I've taken out all this in a straight line out with my router. I just clamp on to my, my chisel, which permits me to readjust 
readjust my chisel in and out which will de will determine if I get a little half inch strong or, or minus or whatever and the chisel is, is set so that it just comes from there to the peak and you can see the line there where, where I went through with the, the drill bit and the end chisel is right at, there, at, at that point so I can shrink that size to that size so I'm going to give you a little demonstration now and this is my blank here this is um, it's half inch or 9 16 from square to square from parallel surfaces and then I just routered the edge off okay so then when I poke this in here you sort of have to sharpen this end so that it'll make its way through right and then you're good to go so I'm just going to clamp onto this half inch it's as good as what you can buy at the store so I'm just gonna get my calipers out and let's see what I have here half inch half inch it didn't move this actually worked Half inch, half inch up here, half inch up here, and the surface is really smooth, really, really smooth. So that's it for that demonstration, and. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe, and there's more to come.